NorSat Satellite Station in Tel Aviv Mer TV. On the occasion of St. Joseph's Day, Mother's Day, and the advent of the blessed month of Ramadan, NorSat offers represented by Dr. Basima Sim'an and the team offer their sincere congratulations and blessings, hoping that these occasions will be repeated for all with joy and happiness. Now let's start with the headlines. King Abdullah, Jordan stands tall with the help of its people, an army defending its border and sovereignty. Sheikh of Al-Azhar congratulates Pope Francis on the 10th anniversary of his pontificate. U.S. interfaith delegation visits Jordan to learn about state of harmony in the country. International Association of Orthodox Christian Scouts celebrates its Silver Jubilee. We also have the most precious gifts given to mothers on her annual feast is love, obedience, and honor. Welcome back. On the 55th anniversary of the Battle of Karama, His Majesty King Abdullah II said that Jordan stands tall in the strength of its people and its Arab army in defense of its borders and sovereignty. His Majesty added via Twitter, the day of dignity will remain immortal and glorious in our national memory and an honorable page in our Arab history. May God have mercy on our martyrs and may God protect Jordan. In the Battle of Karama, the Jordanian army wrote the most wonderful epics of manhood and courage, and it has in the souls of the members of the same Jordanian family the highest meaning of pride. The brave people of the Jordanian Arab army made the strongest heroic epic in modern Arab history when they watered, with their pure blood and solid determination, the land of dignity in defense of Jordan's wealth and the protection of its assets. His Eminence, the Sheikh of Al-Azhar, Imam Ahmad Al-Tayyib, extended special congratulations to His Holiness Pope Francis on the occasion of the 10th anniversary of his election, in which he said, I am pleased to extend to Your Holiness congratulations on the occasion of the anniversary of your elections, President, to the Catholic Church. I appreciate your journey over the past 10 years, during which you have sought to build bridges of love and brotherhood between human beings, in addition to your efforts to promote dialogue among the faithful religions as the basis for researching the peace we all aspire to. As our world today is full of challenges and conflicts at all levels, which increases the suffering of many people. May God bless your efforts in pursuing the establishment of peace and help us with you and all the people of goodwill to accomplish our religious and moral duty to promote security, serenity and stability in our world. A Jerusalem delegation representing the Orthodox and Latin churches and endowments and the Hashemite Fund visited the United Kingdom. The delegation met their government officials, parliamentarians, and representatives of the intellectual and religious sectors. This visit comes in the framework of highlighting the importance of the Holy City and its Islamic and Christian sanctities. The delegation stressed during their meetings the importance of the Hashemite custodianship over Islamic and Christian sanctities in the Holy City and the need to respect the legal and historical status and to stop attempts to challenge the Arab character in the old city. Religious leaders affirm that His Majesty King Abdullah II spares no effort to defend Islamic and Christian sanctities in the face of Judaization campaigns and that the protection and royal care of the sanctities strengthened the steadfastness of Jerusalemites. Her Royal Highness Princess Basma bin Talal, President of the Jordanian Scouts and Guides Association, sponsored the celebration of the Silver Jubilee of the International Association of Christian Scouts, which includes Scouts federations from 24 countries. In her speech during the celebration, Her Highness called for the need to build a world of tolerance and desire to serve human beings, regardless of religion, race, and gender, stressing the importance of promoting dialogue between religions and cultures as a mean of building peace. In turn, the president of the association, Maher Sahliya from Palestine, affirmed the association's commitment to continue its efforts in strengthening their relations with the Orthodox churches and achieving more achievements and building tolerance relationship among the members of the association. The honorary president of the association, Georgius, also referred in his speech to the common values and vision that unite the members within the association and its role in developing the spirit of love and brotherhood among them and developing an educational curriculum committed to the Orthodox churches. In turn, His Excellency Bishop Christophorus Atallah praised the decision of the association to choose Jordan to hold its ceremony, which reflects the religious importance of the kingdom as an integral part of the Holy Land. At the end of the ceremony, Her Highness awarded Commander George Aboud from Lebanon a silver medal and Commander Maher Sahliya the Centennial Medal of the Lebanese Scout Movement in recognition of their efforts in serving the Scouts. The concert, which was managed by the journalist Fuad al karsha included artistic paragraphs, traditional singing of the Mosaica Band, a bouquet of hymns, 
by the Jordanian Orthodox Choir and a video introductory to the establishment of the association. The ceremony was attended by Dr. Ramzi Khouri, member of the Executive Committee of the Palestine Liberation Organization and Chairman of the Supreme Presidential Committee for Church Affairs, and scout group leaders from Jordan, Palestine, Lebanon, Syria, Egypt, Greece, Cyprus, Serbia, and Romania. In addition to the President of the World Muslim Scout Federation and the President of the International Catholic Scout Federation. The delegation of the United Initiative of Religions in America visited Jordan, starting with a visit to the General Secretariat of Christian Educational Institutions, where they were received by the Secretary General of the Secretariat, Dr. Nabil Khurman, and members of the administrative body. Dr. Khurman gave the visiting delegation an overview of the Secretariat, its objectives and activities. Then the delegation went to the center Our Lady of Peace and toured the sections of the center and listened to the explanation given by the director of the center, Father Shauke Batrian, about the free services provided by the center of Our Lady of Peace to the children of the Jordanian community. The delegation then moved to the American University in Madaba and was received by the president of the university, Dr. Ma'moun Akrush, and engineer Majdid Dayat and listened there to a lecture on the establishment of the university and the majors taught in it. The visit of the American delegation to the kingdom aims to find out the state of harmony that brings together the sons of the Jordanian people, Muslims and Christians. Because the mother is always giving and sacrificed the march of struggle and success, she deserves our loyalty, gratitude and thanks for what she does in her life of silent efforts for her family members. Perhaps the most precious gift that can be given to the mother on her feast is love, obedience and honor as the mother has a value that is not compared to anyone else, where her feast remains a beacon and a living sign of the continuation of life. On the occasion of Mother's Day, the Honorary President of the Jordanian Youth Drama Association, Dr. Basim Al-Sam'an, sponsored the iftar party held by the association on this happy occasion. And during the ceremony, Dr. Sam'an gave a speech in which she referred to the great task carried out by the mother in life and her great role in raising future generations in order to achieve a balance in family and professional life. Mr. Musen Nabir, president of the association, spoke about the value of the mother and her importance in the life of the family and society, highlighting the activities and events performed by the Jordanian youth for drama. The ceremony, which was held to the tunes of authentic music, included many events, surprises, competitions, and awards in a joyful family atmosphere. On International Women's Day, Mother's Day, and the Annunciation Day, an evening service was held at the Evangelical Episcopal Church in Amman, presided over by the pastor of the church, Reverend Fayyak Haddad, with the participation of the ladies and young women of the parish. During the service, Mrs. Alice Aboud, General Director of Al-Ahliya School and the Bishop's School, spoke about the symbolism of celebrating Mother's Day and the role of women in the renaissance of the communities and their ability to positive change. A group of parishioners attended the service that included hymns of faith. In the end, roses were distributed to the mothers who participated in the service. On the occasion of St. Joseph's Day, the Maronite Church of St. Sharbel in Jordan celebrated this blessed holiday and the occasion of Mother's Day and the Feast of the Annunciation at Divine Mass, presided over by Father Joseph Suwaid, pastor of the church. The celebration was prepared by the Social Work Committee in cooperation with the Pastoral Council, the ceremony included hymns performed by the parish choir in an atmosphere of faith that prevailed among the church. The celebration was attended by the Lebanese ambassador Yusuf Emir Raji and a number of parishioners. Latin churches in the kingdom celebrate every Friday the service of the Way of the Cross, one of the most important stations of the Holy Forty Days Lent, where the believers stand to meditate on the Lord's suffering that were for us and for our salvation. So we are strengthened by this meditation to reach the resurrection with Christ. In St. Joseph Latin Church in Jabal Amman, the rank of the Way of the Cross was held, headed by His Holiness Father Wissam Mansour, the parish priest. The rank was interspersed with hymns and the presentation of stations of the life and passion of Christ in a humble and spiritual atmosphere that prevailed among the church in the presence of a group of believers. Terra Santa College and Terra Santa Organ Festival, in cooperation with the Italian Embassy in Amman, held a concert under the title King of Kings, a copy of a film produced in the year 1927. The film, which was shown at the Terra Santa Cultural Center in Jebel Amman, talks about the silent passion of Jesus Christ. For the first time, a copy of this film, directed by the American Cecile DeMille, is subtitled in both Arabic and English. 
Director Demil had asked the actors before filming to behave appropriately in their private lives and not to appear in cinematic roles that offend what they portray as saints. They were also asked not to appear in unholy activities during the shooting of the film. Dear, dear viewers, we have come to the end of our news and those were the headlines. King Abdullah, Jordan stands tall with the help of its people and army in defending its borders and sovereignty. Sheikh Al Azhar congratulates Pope Francis on the 10th anniversary of his pontificate. U.S. interfaith delegation visits Jordan to learn about the state of harmony in this country. International Association of Orthodox Christian Scouts celebrates its Silver Jubilee. The most precious gift given to the mother on her annual feast is love, obedience, and honor. For more information, please visit our website, norsadjo.org. Thank you for watching. Until we meet again, have a good day.